Hey there, I'm your favorite libertarian, and this is the ETQ from Snake Staff Systems. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Snake Staff Systems ETQ and the snake skin to have it on your body when you need it, when it's tourniquet time. We're also going to show you how to use it and how to stage it and quickly deploy it as well as give you my pros and cons and why I chose to carry this every day after an MDFI class that I took. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go. Well, hey there. <laughs> Before we get too far into the video, I want to make sure you understand my affiliation with Snake Staff Systems, and that is uh, that there isn't one. I bought this with my own money, and I don't have any affiliate links for you, unfortunately, for this product. But I do have affiliate links for other products that you've seen in my channel. So if you want to help support the channel, you can click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment. You can buy all sorts of awesome stuff that you're probably already going to buy anyway after you're watching my videos, and it helps support the channel. And in a lot of cases with my exclusive discount codes, you save some money too. If you could do that, that's great. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. If not, that's cool too. Just feel free to enjoy this free content and do all the algorithm stuff to help the channel. And thank you. And last thing before we get to the actual video, I take prayer requests. I love praying for you guys. If you have any prayer requests, leave those in the comment section below. Now on to the video. And now it's time for everyone's favorite portion of the video. What's in the bag? This is the portion of the video where I show you what's in the bag. Oh. So first, obviously, what would be included in the bag would be the tourniquet itself. We'll go into a little bit more detail on how this works and how you can stage it but this is the tourniquet itself. You also get a sticker with a little QR code if you want to know more about it. Made in the USA, tells you a little bit about it. I'll go ahead and let you pause this and read it at your leisure. Then you also have a triage sticker, so you can triage down here. You can note any allergies, blood type, name of the person that was injured, and you can also draw on the body where the bad person hurt you. This is also a sticker and it's very reflective, so it should catch someone's eye that is a medical professional when they come via maybe EMS. Depends on the situation, I guess, but this could be helpful. And this is something that you could potentially put in with your tourniquet and when you slide it out, it kind of just falls out. All right, so let's talk about the tourniquet itself. I'm gonna do my best to show you how this works. I am not, by the way, a medical professional. I don't have any severe trauma training. This is just based on my basic understanding of how a tourniquet works. The good news is on the packaging itself or on the tourniquet itself, I should say, you have instructions on what to do with the tourniquet. Place high on limb between wound and heart. Pull this strap as tight as possible, then fasten. Twist rod until bleeding stops, lock bar and clip. And you also have a QR code here if you want uh, more information on how to do that. You can also mark the time that the tourniquet was applied. Very good for beginners. Now let's talk about how to actually use the tourniquet. So again, we're going to pull this. This is going to open it up. So you can see we have this big loop here. That is what you're going to put the limb in. <laughs> and then this is the pull tab piece right here. This is the strap. You're going to pull that as tight as you need to tighten it. And actually, hold on, let me get my leg in here so I can really show you. So you're gonna pull this as tight as you need to, as tight as you can. Kind of keep that out of the way, but there you go, as tight as you can. And then this is called the windlass, but this is what you're going to start twisting. Until you're as tight as you need to go. And then this just simply pops into this clip here and clips in. So that's cool. You also have this chem light here that you can break so that if 
it's really dark out when you're applying this and EMS comes or emergency services come to help you and assist you further, they'll be able to see where the tourniquet was applied in the dark. Unfortunately, this is so fragile or so touchy, I should say, that me just trying to get this tourniquet into the snakeskin sleeve, I already broke it. So it's not going to glow for me, but hopefully if you're really careful when you're staging your tourniquet, you won't break this and that'll be a feature that you can actually use. <laughs> Now that you've seen how to put on the tourniquet and use it, I'm going to show you how I am staging this tourniquet. It's not the way. There are other ways, and there's probably going to be some good ideas on Snake Staff Systems website. If you look at that QR code and use your phone for that, that would probably be helpful. But I'm going to show you how I decided to stage this just so there isn't any exposed Velcro up against any other surfaces when it's all together. I'm using the snake skin on my belt and I found that this Velcro catches on everything on the belt through the belt loops. It's a huge pain. So in order to get around that so I can move from belt to belt much easier and from kit to kit, I've decided to use this method, but take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a medical professional. Moving on, got the big strap that you put your appendages through, but don't put your head through this. That's going to make uh, things worse. We've got the pull tab, and this pull tab, it has the stitching starting here and then going to here. We're going to use this as an indexing point, and we're going to align it with this buckle here. We're also going to make sure that this windlass has plenty of room. So I want to make sure that for this windlass, I don't have to have it in here already. To stage it. I want this out so that when I need to use it, it's going to be free for me to twist. So that's kind of where we're starting out, right? Then I'm going to take the big loop and I'm going to pull it tight. Then I'm going to start folding it over itself about the length of a Glock 19 mag. And I'm using the Velcro to adhere it so it stays in place. And then folding it over itself again. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strap and I'm going to go around all of the other straps. So there you go, now this is nice and compact. It's not going anywhere. The windlass is free and most of this is nice and smooth. Where that's gonna help is if you're using the snake skin where you have to slide it in between the belt and the sleeve. It's gonna have a nice smooth surface for you so you can easily slide it out and slide it into things. And then to deploy it, you're just going to grab this pull tab, rip it like so, and then pull it open like that. And then you have your big strap to go around whatever appendage you need to tighten down on. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much how that works. Hope that was helpful. Now on to the next part of the video. All right, we've got this stage. So now I'm going to put it into my snake skin that's already on my belt. Because this is nice and smooth, we should, in theory, be able to slide this in without any issues. All right, so now we have this attached, as you can see. It is staying in place, it's out of the way, but if I want to deploy it, I can just grab onto this and rip it out really easily. But why?
Let's talk about why I decided to get this specific tourniquet and also why I decided to start carrying a tourniquet in general. At the end of last year, I took a class called The Human Element. Great class, highly recommend it. I have a review up here or up here or at the end of this video, so check that out. But in that class, you're putting all these different real life scenarios, but you're using simunition rounds with guns and you're using whatever the, I guess, uh, fake version of what you carry. So if you had pepper spray, you'd have silly string in the scenario as your pepper spray. If you had a real knife, you'd have, if you have a trainer knife, that's the same type of knife, you could have that in the scenario, stuff like that. So for a few of the scenarios, I won't give anything away from the class, but there were some scenarios where it would have been great if I had one of these on me, because when you need a tourniquet in situations where you need a tourniquet, you need it right away. You can't say, oh, well, let me just go run to the car real quick and get it. Or, you know, uh, I'm not wearing my full kit today, so sorry, I don't have the tourniquet on me. You either need to be able to make one with what's around you, or you need to just have one on you. So as far as why I started carrying a tourniquet in general, that's the answer to that. Because if I'm in a situation where I need the tourniquet, I need one right away. And the best way to guarantee that I have one right away is to have one on me. But why did I choose this specific tourniquet? Well, I can tell you, I looked at a couple different options. One of them was the rat tourniquet. That's more like a bungee style material. I'll put a picture of it up right here. The way it works is you essentially just get it as tight as you can with the bungee and then you kind of like wrap it around this little metal piece. The pro of that is that it is very compact you can put it in the same type of snakeskin sleeve thing. It's out of the way. It's easy to pull out. And then you're basically just taking like a big bungee cord type thing, wrapping it around. And it's it's doable. It works. The problem is sometimes you can't get as tight of a clamp around the appendage as you might want or need. So then you start looking at things like the Cat T tourniquet. And the Cat T tourniquet, I think right now they're on the Gen 7. That's the one that I have in a ton of different kits that I have. And also in medical kits that I have in vehicles. They're great, but they're big, they're bulky, and they also have a lot of exposed Velcro if you're staging them correctly. So you don't really have um, the ability. I guess you still have the ability to carry them, but it's just more cumbersome than this. I chose this because I wanted something very small and easy to integrate into my EDC without taking up a whole lot of room. This little piece here is great for being able to pull it out of that sleeve that is called the snake skin. So I can pull it out really easily. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room. I can put it on my belt and I don't even really feel it. It's so light and it's so small that when it's on my belt, it just feels like I'm wearing a belt. It doesn't feel like I even have this on me. I don't have to put it in a pocket. If I wanted to put this in a mag carrier, I could, if I don't want to carry an extra mag, so it could have a spot there as well and not take up any additional space in my EDC. But this is great for that reason. Also kind of a nice touch, but wasn't really well executed, unfortunately for me, is this chem light. The chem light's great because you can have the ability to break this in the event of an emergency you're probably gonna break it just by using it because just for me to get this into the snakeskin, I accidentally broke it. But it glows so that if you're applying a tourniquet at night and EMS arrives after you've done your best to make the scene safe with some other tools and you've also applied a tourniquet to either yourself or someone else, they can see where the tourniquet is because it'll be glowing green. The other thing is that it has instructions on it, which is really nice. For beginners, for someone who's carrying a tourniquet for the first time, or someone who's just learning how to do this kind of stuff, it's great to have all that information there. And as someone who's just buying it thinking, I, I think I need a tourniquet, it's great to have the instructions and to have a QR code to get further instruction on. That's cool. Also, I like that this clip here that's integrated, it's very easy for you to click this in, not something very difficult at all in a high stretch situation to just slam it down and get it in. The cat tourniquet, it has a Velcro thing. So you have to stage it so the Velcro is out of the way. Then you have to put the windlass in and then you have to put the Velcro over. It's just another step that adds time, that adds complexity. And I like that there's the simplicity of this design. 
So those are the reasons why I wanted to choose this one specifically. They're available on Snake Staff Systems website right now. They're usually out of stock. What I'd recommend doing is waiting until Wednesdays when they do the restock. I will tell you in the ordering process, I had to wait until the restock to get the snake skin sleeve. And then I had to wait again for another week or so on a Wednesday to get the actual ETQ. And that's because they're always out of stock because it seems to be something that's pretty popular. So this is what I've chosen. This is what I've been EDCing for, I want to say, a, a few weeks now. And I'll be doing an update on my overall EDC so you guys can see what all I'm carrying all together, how it works together as a system. And I'll talk about maybe some things I might change out, some things I really like. And I'll also probably give you an update coming up soon on my carry gun at the moment, which is the MP Optics Ready Full Size. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to sub to the channel. Click the notification bell, all that jazz, all the algorithm stuff that you guys can do to help out the channel. Let YouTube know that you like this kind of content, it really helps. And also, if you have any prayer requests, I love getting those prayer requests and praying for you guys. So make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Any other questions you have, any suggestions on how you would stage this tourniquet, put those in the comment section as well. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay free and God bless. Up and I, yeah. Make all the demons quiet. Yeah. We were built to thrive. Yeah. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up and I, yeah. Make all the demons quiet. Yeah. We were built to thrive. Yeah.